Control of dental fear and pain during operative procedures. Dental fear refers to the fear of dentistry and of receiving dental care. Dental fear is not an unusual condition, and may be a significant obstacle to effective dental care. Painful, traumatic, or negative dental experiences, especially in childhood, are important determinants of dental fear. 4. Incidents Many dentally fearful people will only seek dental care when they have a dental emergency, such as a toothache or dental abscess. People who are very fearful of dental care often experience a cycle of avoidance in which they avoid dental care due to fear until they experience a dental emergency requiring invasive treatment, which can reinforce their fear of dentistry. 5. Women tend to report more dental fear than men, and younger people tend to report being more dentally fearful than older individuals. People tend to report being more fearful of more invasive procedures, such as oral surgery, than they are of less invasive treatment, such as professional dental cleanings, or prophylaxis. 6. Causes of dental fear 1. Direct experiences 2. Indirect experiences 7. Causes of dental fear 1. Direct experiences Direct experience is the most common way people develop dental fears. Most of the people report that their dental fear began after a traumatic, difficult, and slash or painful dental experience. However, painful or traumatic dental experiences alone do not explain why people develop dental phobia. 8. The perceived manner of the dentist is an important variable. Dentists who were considered uncaring or uninterested were found to result in high dental fear in patients, even in the absence of painful experiences. 9-2. Indirect experiences, learning, dental fear may develop as people hear about others' traumatic experiences or negative views of dentistry. Mass media, the negative portrayal of dentistry in mass media and cartoons may also contribute to the development of dental fear. 10. Stimulus generalization, dental fear may develop as a result of a previous traumatic experience in a non-dental context. For example, bad experiences with doctors or hospital environments may lead people to fear white coats and antiseptic smells. This is one reason why dentists nowadays often choose to wear less threatening apparel. 11. Causes of operative pain Eye instrumentation. 2. Physical and chemical irritation. 3. Miscellaneous. 12. Causes of operative pain, eye instrumentation, a hand cutting instruments, dull instruments produce more pain than sharp one as they need greater force to be applied to the tooth structure. This insult will be transmitted to the contents of the dentinal tubules and produce pain according to the hydrodynamic theory of pain. 13B Rotary Cutting Instruments, they can produce pain through heat generation and vibration. I. Heat generation, instruments with rotary speed of 10.000 rpm can produce a rise in the temperature during the cutting at micro contact area up to L000 degree C. The rise in the temperature is limited to the contact points of the metallic blades with the dentin. This temperature is sufficient to cause pulp damage. 14. Therefore, the usage of coolant is essential and it is preferable to be in the form of air water spray. High speed cutting device with coolant have decreased but not completely abolished pain due to multiple and repetitive cutting of dentinal tubules. 15. Blunt rotary instruments produce more friction with the tooth substance thus, more heat and consequently more pain. The pain produced during cavity preparation is due to both heat and the cutting of a large number of dentinal tubules. 16-2. Vibration, vibration occurs due to eccentricity and run out of rotary instrument, it causes annoyance and discomfort to the patient. 17-2. Vibration, 
it is unpleasant sensation experienced by the patient that lowers the pain threshold. It is caused by the rotation of the instruments. Most patients can tolerate vibrations of 150 to 200 cycles per second, while if the vibration exceeds 560 cps it will not be tolerated. Vibration is absent in high-speed devices and this is considered as one of its advantages. 18. 2. Physical and chemical irritation, 1. Dehydration of cavities If an air jet is used alone, even for a relatively short period, it will produce an effect on the pulp that detected histologically as migration of the odontoblastic nuclei into the proximal ends of the dentinal tubules, desiccation. 2. Strong drugs as disinfectants which are contraindicated in deep cavities nowadays. 19. 3. Miscellaneous, certain procedures during tooth preparation and restoration produce an unpleasant sensation instead of pain. Such as placing the wedge to stabilize a matrix. They are practically unnoticed when the patient is under the influence of the local anesthesia. 20. Likewise, such procedures as the placement of a rubber dam clamp, packing of the gingival retraction cords prior to an impression of a prepared tooth and the actual taking of an impression that may require pressure or the utilization of materials requiring temperature changes. The elimination of such unpleasant sensation is almost as important to many patients as the elimination of pain. 21. Treatment of dental fear and operative pain treatments include a combination of behavioral and pharmacological techniques. Behavioral techniques Behavioral strategies used by dentists include positive reinforcement, e.g. praising the patient, the use of non-threatening language, and tell show do techniques. The tell show do technique was originally developed for use in pediatric dentistry, but can also be used with nervous adult patients. 22. The technique involves verbal explanations of procedures in easy-to-understand language, tell, followed by demonstrations of the sights, sounds, smells, and tactile aspects of the procedure in a non-threatening way, show, followed by the actual procedure, do. 23. Certain aspects of the physical environment also play an important role in alleviating dental fear. For example, getting rid of the smells traditionally associated with dentistry, the dental team wearing non-clinical clothes, or playing music in the background can all help patients by removing and replacing stimuli which can trigger feelings of fear. 24. Some anxious patients respond well to more obvious distraction techniques such as listening to music, watching movies, or even using virtual reality headsets during treatment. This technique can also be referred as audiovisio analgesia. 25. Pharmacological techniques Pharmacological techniques to manage operative pain can be achieved by profound anesthesia. But in the case of apprehensive patients it ranges from mild sedation to general anesthesia, and are often used by dentists in conjunction with behavioral techniques. 26. A surface anesthesia. This is achieved by the application of creams or sprays to the dried mucosa before the injection is given. If a suitable period of time is allowed to elapse after application, anesthesia of the superficial tissues will be produced so that the patient does not feel the initial entry of the needle. These agents do not, however, prevent discomfort from the passage of the needle into the deeper tissues or the sensation associated with the discharge of the local anesthetic solution. 27B Local Anesthesia It is the most satisfactory method to eliminate pain and to establish a good dentist-patient relationship. Unfortunately, there is widespread fear of injection which may be associated with childhood experiences. 28. Advantages of local anesthesia, 1. Elimination of pain. 2. Elimination of apprehension associated with anticipation of pain. 3. 
allows patient to relax thus relieves muscle tension facilitating retraction of lips, cheeks, and tongue thus improving access and visibility. 4. Allows patient to tolerate extended procedure thus saves time. 5. Allows operator to work in a relaxed atmosphere. 29. Contraindications of local anesthesia, 1. Cardiovascular diseased patient, anesthesia should be free of vasoconstrictor. 2. Hyperthyroidism, same as cardiac patient. 3. Allergies, rare but does exist, one should use another group of LA4, local conditions, e.g. acute suppurative infection in the area of injection may be aggravated. 30. Procedure for administration of LA, explain to the patient where the injection is to be administered and the degree of discomfort anticipated. Carefully dry the intraoral injection site with germicidal solution before application of topical anesthetic. 31. Collect the syringe by working outside the patient's line of vision. The solution should be preheated to body temp to reduce discomfort. Gently stretch the mucosa through which the needle is to pass for smoother penetration. Bring the syringe into position and gently penetrate the mucosa. 32. Avoid any fast or sudden movements and maintain a steady flow of talk with the patient during this stage. Apply light pressure to the plunger as soon as the needle penetrate the tissue so that a very small quantity of solution is ejected ahead of the needle. 33. Advance the needle slowly behind the shield of anesthetic solution until the tip reaches the desired position then deposit the appropriate amount slowly and gently into the tissues. Remove the needle gently. Check objective and subjective symptoms before proceeding any further. 34. C electronic anesthesia, this may be used as an alternative to uncomfortable injections of local anesthetic. The dentist puts electrodes on the cheeks, which transmit a numbing electrical current into the jaw. Some patients report that electronic anesthesia is more effective than medications. 35. E acupuncture and acupressure, originating in China more than 4,000 years ago, Acupuncture is a form of medicine that involves inserting needles into certain locations, called acupoints, on the body. Research has shown that acupuncture may trigger the body to release pain-relieving chemicals in the body called endorphins. A related technique is acupressure, in which pressure is applied to the acupoints instead of needles. Acupuncture is becoming more common in general medicine, but for now, it's something of a rarity among dentists. 36 F sedation oral sedation unlike analgesics, which block pain, sedatives such as diazepam, valium, relax the central nervous system and help people feel calmer and more relaxed. Dentists often avoid oral sedatives because they typically take about 30 minutes to work, and the side effects, such as drowsiness, may last for hours. 37. Intravenous sedation This technique usually is reserved for patients who are undergoing extensive dental procedures, although it can be used for those who are simply too anxious to have dental treatment done otherwise. A tranquilizer is injected into a vein in the hand or arm. 38. Inhalation sedation Nitrous oxide, laughing gas, this is one of the most common forms of in-office pain control. The gas helps people feel relaxed or even euphoric, laughing gas, and the effects wear off quickly once the gas is turned off. Nitrous oxide generally is used as a supplement to other drugs, not as a replacement. 39G General Anesthesia This involves putting the patient to sleep for the duration of the procedure. Some dentists have the equipment and staff to perform general anesthesia in the office, but it's often done in a hospital setting. Because of the risks of side effects, including drops in blood pressure or heartbeat irregularities, arrhythmias, general anesthesia should be only used when other forms of sedation or pain control aren't enough. 40. 
Laser drills Some dentists are now using lasers to remove decay within a tooth and prepare the surrounding enamel for placement of the filling. Lasers may cause less pain in some instances and result in a reduced need for anesthesia.